forged his own path. He's taken his own chances and he'll claim a famous victory here today. They're cheering him on. And doesn't he love it, the man from Surface Paradise, TJ Handy on top round one, Nutrigrain Ironman Series champion. And Shannon Eckstein is on an absolute monster out the back. So wave after wave, the Coulomb sets are rolling through. A special specimen, Ali Day on top in round two. And he will be our round two Nutrigrain Ironman Series champion. Matt Bevilacqua, while we were talking about Surface Paradise, he surfaced on the beach and he is a long, long way in front. Bevelac was beat them all. He'll race up the beach to claim his fourth ever Nutrigrain Ironman Series round. Matt Bevelac was the champion in North Wollongong. He is not done with yet. His career is not over. Like a fine wine, he keeps getting better with age. And Shannon Eckstein is back, bigger and better than ever. At Fairhaven Beach, he is your round four champion of the Nutrigrain Ironman Series. You don't want to go sideways. You don't want to send it into the sky. Up and over, and we see how high that board goes. Lacey just gets held up. He gets hit again and held up. Matt Bevelacqua will take out round five of the Nutrigrain Ironman series and a huge day from the man from down south. What a summer it has been as we take a look at the overall point score after five rounds. There are only three who can win the overall title. Defending champion Matthew Poole. He's in fourth place, but he can't defend his title. And it is down to just Alistair Day, Matt Bevelacqua, and James Lacey there. And the maths is even more complicated than the women's jack. So interesting to see a few names we're used to seeing further up. The likes of Kendrick Louie, the likes of Hayden White, a long way up. But this is it. This is how simple it'll get for you. James Lacey, he has to win to be any shot but if he wins he's no guarantee then once we get into the top seven races so Ali Day and Matt Bevilacqua they have to be in the final once they're in the final whoever comes higher out of Bevilacqua and Day will be crowned our champion but we've got to get to race three first Jack we've got the three rounds the exact same format as the women very very tough stuff big Matt Poole from Currawa he will hand over his title today he won it here on this beach in a sprint finish in one of the most amazing sprint finishes just 12 months ago and there's smiles all around for one that's James Lacey there he's in with the titles he's in with a title shot it's going to be well very tough he's got to win it's that simple if he doesn't win he's no shot but he's also got to win and hope some results go his way so only one of his maybe second year in the series and it's good to see him mixing it with the best of the best. Well, Josh James Lacey will be hoping that Ali Day finishes 20th he'll be hoping Matt Bevilacqua oh, yeah. finishes 19th and he takes a win That's to he ensure needs. he wins That's his first he Nutrigrain Ironman series. And everyone at Mermaid Beach is hoping the same thing we're on the line Jay Finesse closest to us Cuff and Bevilacqua. Oh, a false start from Poole there. A false start from Poole. I don't know what the judges are going to do. There might have been another little sound in the background, so they're going to let him go. Board, ski, swim, top two through to race three. Bottom six, they're out of the equation. We're off and away. Here we go. The boys are in, and they are very, very fast into the water. A lot of pressures released by a lot of these competitors. Luke Schaefer there from Cudgeon Headlands, the white, white, white cap with the blue star on the top. He's making his debut. Cooper Williams, Jack. Tell us about Cooper Williams. You're coaching him, so I've got a very, very nervous man up in the box here. He's come on in leaps and bounds. He's in his first ever race here in the Nutrigrain Ironman Series, and he is a star of the future. Well, he's off to a very good start, Josh. In, beside, in the middle, in beside Kendrick Louie and Max Beattie. And Ken, I'll tell you what, Cooper Williams is my pick for this race oh, here today. He's a good coach. No doubt he'll he's take the victory coach. and go straight through to race three to take the win. You've got to believe. You've got to believe. He's having a great start so far. That's him on the white board in the centre with a green nose and he's going to go up and over one in well in the lead with Ali Day. Ali Day there the famous surface paradise cap it's blue with the yellow star on the top as they get a big set and the swell's starting to lift isn't it. They go up and over and easily that left hand side of the field. It's had the best run out and Max Brooks with the light blue board. He is in the yellow cap with the two maroon stripes. He saw his teammate Georgia Miller do the job in the last race and finish on the podium. He'll be looking for the same here and now. He will go into the Lead. Well, the left-hand side has let the boys through, Josh, and that's Max Brooks out in front. If you have a look, that's Matt Bevilacqua in the middle of our screen, so stuck on the inside. Bevilacqua's got a bit of work to do, but at this stage, it is quite strung out. The boys on the southern side have struggled through the break and now are trying to make their way back through the
this field. Schaefer on the inside, finesse in the light blue cap of Manly. Bevel Aqua just in front of him. He's in the danger zone. Isaac Costello on the tail. Your man Cooper Williams there with a lot of work to do. Max Beatty in the Surface Paradise cap just ahead of his teammate there, TJ Handy. And right on the tail of the field, it's Mitchell Allen, the local from Wanda, just down the road. It's only two clubs up, so he'll have a massive support crew out here today. And he's doing a very, very good job to be in this in the mix with this competition. But on the front, it's Max Brooks, Corey Taylor there, Ali Day, maybe even Shannon Eckstein out the back at the moment. Kendrick Louis, Matt Pools there on the far right-hand side. Another one, Nathan Gray, another one of those Surface Paradise caps. Dan Collins, Cooper Williams over the top. Bevel Aqua tries to get involved. Jay Finesse, they're coming thick and fast from every direction. There's a wave on here, and this is going to shake things up. Well, who's down and out in front? Shannon Eckstein makes sure he gets himself down Ooh, it on the northern side. Across. On the left-hand side, Max Brooks is there as well, as is Jay oh, Finesse. So Bevel Matt Bevelacqua out the back door at this stage. Looks like his series hopes could be in trouble. Bevelacqua's in the danger zone. Remember, the bottom six will go out in this one. TJ Handy comes up alongside him. Cooper Williams in his first race has got plenty of work to do. There's two, four, six, seven on that final wave. Mitchell Allen as well back there. It looks like Isaac Costello. So they are all in the red zone. The boys out the back are in the red zone. Everyone up the front, it is in a very, very good position at the moment. Eckstein gets up. Brooks goes to the front. Lacey's there. Nathan Gray as well. Nathan Gray's had a breakout summer. It's been unbelievable. He stood on the podium so far in round three at North Wollongong Beach. And something, if you'd said to me at the start of the season, I said it was maybe too much for him. Schaefer goes around there from Kutchen Headlands, former training partner of Gray. Taylor, Paul, Louis, Day, Luke Cuff there. Hayden White with a little bit of work to do, but he's just grinding back on. And here we go. Just outside of the red zone is Bevel Aqua. Isaac Costello. TJ Handy goes around. Beatty there. Dan Collins. Mitchell Allen. Sorry, Hayden Allen. And then Mitchell Allen right on the tail. The last one to get his ski. And maybe Jay Finesse. I haven't seen him come around either. So maybe drama for Jay Finesse. He was a long way down early on in the board. And he's got plenty of plenty of work to do to get back into this one. Well, Brooks out in front. It looks like paul has been a big mover on the left-hand side. Josh, he's making his way back through the field at this stage. So plenty of work to do. But it's all action in the middle of the field and trying to make sure you're in the top 14. There's a race within a race within a race at the moment. Top through, two go through to the third race. The bottom six get knocked out and there's a series title on the line. It couldn't be more chaotic if it tried. Schaefer's tried to go all the way to the far left-hand side. He's on that yellow ski there. Doesn't look like it's worked. He's been hit once or twice. Our leaders, they've just shot straight out in the middle in that rip as our back markers. Luke Cuff tries to... No, that's Mitchell Allen actually. He tries to go up and over one and he's just being belted and making a tough day even tougher. Well, he certainly is. And this is the middle pack, Josh. These are the chase pack. They're trying to put themselves in the top 14 at this stage. Plenty of work to do. I can see TJ Hendy's ski is one of those there. And after a big season for him, he's got plenty to do, as does Cooper Williams, who's now gone out the back door. TJ Hendy sitting fifth overall in the point score. He won his first race and really, let's be honest, got out of his father's shadow in round one. He, he made a name for himself there. It must have been hard for him as a kid having, well, one of the greatest of all time as a dad, but he is established himself as an Ironman in his own right in round one and one of the nicest guys on the beach to boot. It's good to see him have a breakout summer. But on the lead, Brooks there, James Lacey in second place, Matt Poole, Shannon Eckstein, Ali Day there in equal third, fourth and fifth. Corey Taylor there, Kendrick Louis. So all the big guns, the only one who isn't there is Matt Bevelacqua. Nathan, oh, so Ali Day goes around. So it's Nathan Gray at the front. Luke Schaefer there, there's Bevelacqua. He's outside the red zone. Hayden Allen, Luke Cuff as he works his way around. Hayden White there. Two more of the Surface Paradise boys as they work their way into this one. Beatty as well. Dan Collins, Isaac Costello. Jay Finesse has got a lot of work to do. So do the Allen boys. So tough at the back, but out in front, James Lacey is doing what Harriet Brown did. He knows he's got to get to that final race. He knows he's going to put in one huge effort here, and that could make or break his title's chances. Well, he's certainly doing a good job at this stage. And if James Lacey can, can, can secure a spot in the final. It certainly keeps his series chances alive and that's what he's doing at the moment. Joining him there is Max Brooks heading into the final swim lane. Still coming around the cans but getting a wave. Cooper Williams, he might push down the top of this one. Cooper Williams, no, he misses it. Jay Finesse out the back. He'll get one as well so drama are plenty in the back markers but our leaders are doing it very, very easily at the moment. Lacey on the left hand side. Oh, someone goes sideways. Someone goes sideways. He spun around and backwards. That looks like Nathan Gray. Nathan Gray has gone backwards. I thought it was Ali Day earlier 
earlier on, but he's riding Ali Day's ski. That's what we thought. He's got the same ski as Ali Day, the same cap, their training partners. He went sideways and almost slewed off and made life tough. So as they go through transition, Brooks in one. Lacey goes through in two, and they are looking for those top two automatic qualification places. Shannon Eckstein in three, Kendrick Louis in four, Corey Taylor in five, Matt Poole, he'll go around in sixth place. Ali Day in seventh, Matt Bevilacqua in eighth, Luke Schaefer there in the light blue cap in nine, Max Beattie in 10, TJ Handy 11, Cuff in 12, White in 13, uh, oh sorry, Isaac Costello and White in 13 and 14. Hayden Allen there, he's in the yellow with the white cap, the red stripe through the middle, he is out at the moment. So's Nathan Gray, he's gone from first to 17th place because he slewed his ski. Well, where are these moves going to come from, Josh? It's going to be the swimmers, Dan Collins. He's potentially one who's going to swim back Cooper through the field. Williams can Cooper swim. Williams be goes. looking to do the same thing. He'll be looking to make a move now in this swim leg and pull the guys back. But unfortunately, the guys in front are no slouches when it comes to swimming. Jay Finesse can swim as well. He is a great swimmer and he's got a lot of work to do to get through this field as our leaders start to work their way out. Lacey will be trying to latch on to Max Brooks there. Lacey with the blue cap with the white and red stripes. That's Shannon Eckstein, the maroon cap there. Kendrick Louie and Matt Poole, his old sparring partners. A little bit further back, Ali Day, Bevilacqua. Hasn't Bevilacqua worked his way back into this one? Well, he was in the danger zone. He knew his series was hanging at tender hooks, but he got himself back into it and got himself out and around. Ali Day hasn't been fantastic, but he's never been in danger. Well, they're trying to make a move now, Josh, and it'll be the top two, and it looks like Brooks and Lacey know they're in the top two. They know they want those two automatic qualification positions into the final and the others are racing for what's left but a wave in the swim can make a huge Everything. difference. Everything. We saw Lana Rogers go straight past Georgia Miller to take victory and that's what's going to set this race up and set these boys up into the next two. Here they go, dive underneath a couple of big sets coming through so the swell's lifting. The swell is lifting here at North Cronulla one of the best locations anywhere in the world. Every time we come back here the weather's not fantastic but I think it's only when you and I come back but there's always a good solid wave to mix things up and Brooks is leading but he's gone a little bit to the left hand side that sweep might have taken him away from the can and course management in these short races is oh so important isn't it well Max Brooks is doing a very good job out in front he's leading the boys to the can and might be slightly off course Josh but that's the southerly wind blowing through and blowing these boys away from the cans the back movers there is a big pack it's going to be interesting to find out who is in our bottom six who is not in the top 14 and at this stage it will come down to the wave zone. Yeah, you can see those guys on the left-hand side at the bottom there. They are starting to drift out. Luke Schaefer, he's got to get a wriggle on. He's in the white cap with a blue star on the top. They call him Doug, and Dougie needs to get moving because he really, really starting to fade in this surf race. He's more of a board paddler there, but he's got a lot of work to do in his opening Oh, well, his career opening, Kellogg's Nutrigrain Ironman Series round. They turn for home and they'll turn and burn Max Brooks and James Lacey. They know if they can get themselves across the line in one or two, they will lock themselves a place into the final eight in race three. Shannon Eckstein in third, Matt Poole alongside him, and there's a wave out the back. There's a wave out the back. It's going to stand up. Will it stand up for Kendrick Louie? Kendrick Louie pushes down it. Oh, gets a little push and shove out of it, but nothing else. Our two leaders, they get another little run, but just not enough. That's Bevilacqua in the centre of the screen there. Matt Bevilacqua trying his hardest, trying his hardest to get himself into the top 14. Corey Taylor on his tail. A little bit further back there, Nathan Gray trying to hold on at the moment. TJ Handy there and Max Beattie. Luke Schaefer, Hayden White's got a lot of work to do. Isaac Costello, Dan Collins, they're really, really struggling. Hayden Allen swimming his way into it on the right. Luke Cuff on the far right. And then... Dan Collins, Mitchell Allen, and at the back of the field, Cooper Williams and Jay Finesse. They are not in this one yet, but things can change in a matter of seconds. As James Lacey and our leader there, Max Brooks, they've picked up a wave. They've ridden it all the way to home. That's a ticket to ride, Jack, and a ticket to round three. Well, it puts them into race three. It puts them into the final, and with the rest into ski, swim, board. These two boys will be looking like the two to watch when it comes to the final eight. Unbelievable stuff. That's one and two across the line. Here we go. Kendrick Louie finds a wave. No dramas. He gets out of the screen, but at the back is where it starts to get interesting. A couple pushing down them. Bevilac was going to get a little jag on him there. They're going to come from the clouds out the back. So left, right, centre, all over the place. We've had two cross the line. Out the back, there's more falling from the sky. Jay Finesse got one. Jay Finesse was in last, and he's not in last anymore. I can guarantee you that. Ali Day, Kendrick Louie, Shannon Eckstein, they're going to lock themselves a place up and around. I think they think they might have got 
through. They take a look. They know they're going to have to do race two. So Louis gets three. Day survives and he gets four in a strong, strong effort. Shannon Eckstein cruises up and around, showing no signs of the injury that hampered him in rounds three and four. He will be in fifth place as they cross the line. Sixth for Max Beattie. Seventh for Matt Poole. Jay Finesse has gone from 20th to eighth place. So sixth Beattie. Seven Poole. Jay Finesse, I think, will be the next one that cruises up and around. He will in eighth place. Matt Bevilacqua in ninth survives. Tenth is Hayden Allum. Eleventh is TJ Hendy. Mitchell, Mitchell Allum is 12 there as they cross. Isaac Costello. Oh, Corey Taylor. Luke Cuff there. Where's Jane? Oh, where's the rest of the boys as they go around? I think Hayden White is out. Cooper Williams is gone. Dan Collins, Nathan Gray and Luke Schaefer. It was a short debut for him, but a memorable one, no doubt.